Welcome to Be More Yogic. My name is Amanda Day. Today we're going to work on toning the arms and shoulders and core using our own body weight. We'll also work on opening the shoulders to release any hidden tension. So it's like getting a good workout and a massage all in one. The arms are also an extension of our hearts and when we build strength in the upper body, we learn to create healthy boundaries in our relationships in life itself so that we are open to what it has to offer. So let's begin. We're going to start by finding a strap. You can use a tie, a regular belt. And I want you just to have that at the front edge of your mat so you can grab it easily later when we start. And you might also want a block. Of course, you always use two blocks if your hamstrings are tight. So, and just leave that towards the front of your mat as well. I should put them over here. So we're going to begin by standing. So come to the front edge of your mat. Have your feet about fist distance apart so your heels are right underneath you. Spread your toes. You want the outer edges of the feet parallel to the sides of your mat. Move your hips back. Lift through the lower belly and lengthen your tail. And you should feel a little toning in the lower belly, which creates support. Press down into the feet evenly and grow tall through to the crown of the head. Now you're going to roll your shoulders up as you inhale and exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Take your hands to your shoulders, roll your elbows forward and up. Exhale the elbows back and down. Release your arms and reach the arms forward and up. Lengthen and then exhale the arms back and down. Let's reverse that. Shoulders to the back and up. Exhale the shoulders forward and down. Hands to the shoulders, elbows back and up. Exhale the elbows forward and down. Release the arms. Reach the arms back and up. Press the palms above you. And then exhale, draw the prayer to the midline. Reach the prayer back up towards the ceiling. Press down strongly into your feet. And then exhale, swan dive and fold forward over your legs. Inhale, come into a flat back. Lengthen forward, micro bend the knees. Exhale, you're going to lower your left knee to the front of your mat. You can either sit on the heel or place the block underneath the right sit bone. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Lengthen through the side body. And then exhale, take the right fingertips behind you. You can also have that hand on the block if your hand doesn't reach. Inhale, lift the left arm up to the ceiling, lengthen. And then exhale, hook the elbow to the outside of the thigh. Push the knee and arm together as you lift up through the heart. And then exhale, twist to look over your right shoulder. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale in one. Inhale. Exhale in two. Last one, inhale, and exhaling three. Come back around to the front and just take a quick counter twist over to the left to release the spine. And then take your hands down to the floor, step the left foot back, low lunge. Front knee over the ankle, hips same height as front knee. Tap the back knee down, press your hips forward, lift the gaze. Exhale, straighten both the legs, flex the front foot and fold. Tap the back knee down, press your hips forward, lift the gaze. Exhale, straighten both the legs and fold. And again, tap the back knee down, press your hips forward, lift the gaze. And exhale, straighten both the legs and fold forward. Come into a flat back, reach your heart forward, pull the right outer hip back, and then exhale, lengthen and fold. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale in one. Inhale, dig that front heel down and forward. Inhale, roll in the back in a thigh back. Exhale in three. Bend the front knee, keep the back leg strong. You're on the ball of the back foot. Reach your arms up into your high lunge. Draw the lower ribs into the body, lengthen the tail, and look straight forward. You're going to take that left arm behind your back. And then just drop your right ear to your right shoulder as you take your right hand to the side of the head. Don't pull on the side of the head. Just allow the weight of the hand to stretch out the neck. So 
So just the weight will do. Keep filling your lower back towards your forearm. And then release, lift the right arm up towards the ceiling. And then you're gonna bend that elbow behind the back of the head, press it down, draw it in. Press the head back into the arm. Just stay in the half bind for now. We're gonna go into the full bind later. So you're also working on strengthening, strengthening your legs, just stay in here. Try and hug the legs in towards each other. So the back leg pulls forward, the front leg pulls back. Now inhale, arms up towards the ceiling, straighten through that front leg. And then ground your palms to the floor. Spread your fingers, three legged dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up and back, keeping the hips square to the floor. Exhale, right knee touches your nose. Now keep your shoulders over your wrist. Inhale, three-legged plank, look forward, press the right heel back, belly lifts. Exhale, knee to nose round. Three-legged plank, right leg back, heart forward, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose round. Once again, three-legged plank, inhale. This time as the knee comes to the nose, lift your hips high. Step that right foot back between your hands. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling into your twist, hugging your outer hips in. Roll the lower shoulder blade on your back and then lean the head and heart back. Grow long from the back heel, pushing back to the crown of the head, reaching forward. One more breath, look up. Lift the left hip point. Hands to the floor, step back to plank pose, inhale. Slowly lower to your belly for five, four, three, two, one. Shoulder heads lift. Point the toes, pull forward and up to cobra, lengthening through the tail. Exhale, lower your forehead down. Interlace the fingers behind your back, bring your big toes to touch. Lift your shoulder heads, roll the inner thighs up towards the ceiling and then lift the legs. Reach the fist back, Shalabhasana. Think more about length than height. Three breaths, inhale. Exhaling one. Inhale. Exhaling two. Last one, inhale. Exhaling three. Ground your toes to the floor, keeping your heart lifted. Pull forward and up into a deeper cobra. Tuck your toes and press back to child's pose. Spreading your fingers, elbows are off the floor. You're gonna hover your knees about an inch off the floor. Keep reaching your hips back. And now step your right foot between your hands. Lift your left hip point as you inhale your right arm up towards the ceiling, back into the twist. Exhale, step your feet about sit bone distance apart and fold forward. You're gonna crouch down. Some of you might have to lift up onto your tippy toes. Some of you can keep the heels grounded. Then see if maybe you can lift your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Reverse one dive up to standing. Press your palms. And then exhale the arms alongside your body. Left side, roll the shoulders up. Exhale the shoulders back. Hands to the shoulders, elbows roll forward and up. Exhale, roll the sh elbows back and down. Release the arms and reach the arms forward and up. Exhale the arms back and down. Reversing that, shoulders to the back and up, breathe in. Exhale, shoulders forward and down. Hands to the shoulders, elbows back and up, breathe in. Exhale the elbows forward and down. Release your arms, reach the arms back and up. Press the palms together. Exhale the prayer to the heart center. Inhale, reach the prayer up towards the ceiling, lengthen. And then exhale, hinge forward over the legs. Inhale to a flat back, root the outer heels, move the weight slightly forward, and then exhale, lower your right knee down to the front of the mat. 
Again, you can sit on the heel the same thing you did on the other side or place a block under your left sit bone. Inhale, lift the left arm up towards the ceiling, lengthen. Exhale, take the left finger tops behind you. Inhale, lift the right arm up to the ceiling and then hook the elbow to the outside of the thigh. Three breaths, inhale. Pressing the knee into the arm as you twist. Inhale. Exhale in two. Last one, inhale. And exhale in three. Come back to the front and just take a quick counter twist over to the opposite side. Hands to the floor, step your right foot to the back of the mat. Knee over the ankle, tap the back knee down, press your hips forward, lift the gaze. Exhale, straighten both the legs and fold. Tap the back knee down, press your hips forward, lift the gaze. Exhale, straighten both the legs and fold. And again, tap the back knee down. Straighten both the legs and fold. Come into a flat back, reach your heart forward, pull the left outer hip back, and then heart towards toes. Three breaths, inhale. Exhaling one. Inhale. Dig the front heel down and forward. Inhale. Exhaling three. Bend the front knee, rise up to your high lunge, arms come up. This time take the right arm behind your back. Use the arm to scrub the tail long and then drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Lay your left hand on top of the ear and just allow the weight of the arm to stretch out the side of the neck. Again, try not to pull. The back leg is still strong, the front knee is still bending forward. Lift the head up, reach the left arm back up, and then you're gonna bend that left elbow behind the head, press it down, draw it in, press the head back into the arm, but keep softening the lower ribs in and down. Gaze forward. See if you can go a little lower with the hips. Straighten the front leg, arms reach up, breathe in. Hands to the floor, ground your palms, breathe out. Three-legged dog, inhale the left leg up and back, hip square. Exhale, knee to nose, shoulders over your wrist. Keep your shoulders there, three-legged plank, look forward, lift through the belly. Exhale, knee to nose and round. Three-legged plank, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose and round. Three-legged plank, inhale. This time as the knee comes to the nose, lift your hips super high. Step the left foot between your hands. Lift the right hip point as you twist to the left. Roll the right shoulder blade on your back. Straighten the back leg all the way. Hands to the floor, step back to plank pose, inhale. Slowly lower to your belly for five. Four, three, two, one. Shoulder heads lifted. Point the toes, engage the legs and pull forward and up. Exhale, lower forward and down. Big toes touch, interlace the fingers behind the back. Scrub the tail long, then lift the legs. Reach the fist up and back. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale in one. Two breaths, inhale. Exhaling, last one. Exhaling three, keep the chest lifted, ground your feet. Hands in line with your nipples, pull forward and up. And then press back to all fours this time. I want you to get a, the block, and this is a shoulder strengthener. You're gonna bring the block between the elbows, have the forearms on the floor, and you want the forearms to be parallel to each other, so the hands are the same distance as the shoulders. Now squeeze into the block and lift the block up, and then lower down. Lift, 
and lower. This helps to strengthen the rotator cuffs. Lift and lower. If this is easy for you, walk your knees back. Continue. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Maybe you can lift your knees up off the floor and lower the block halfway from down dog. Maybe you shake, shake, shake. Keep squeezing the block, don't let it go. The hardest position would be to do it in plank. Another three, two, and one. Lower the knees, release the block, and then just hug your forearms into your belly and just fold, drop your head. Let the neck completely go. Extend your arms forward, tuck your toes in your child's pose. Press your bottom back, cover the knees off the floor about an inch. Step the left foot between your hands. Inhale, lift the left arm up into your twist. Exhale, step the back foot forward, about sit bone distance apart and fold. Come into that squat position, maybe your arms lift up, breathe in. Exhale, fold forward. Reverse one dive up to standing, inhale. Hands to pivot the heart. Bring your feet to touch, a little space between the heels. Touch the floor, sit low, weight to the heels. Chair pose, inhale, arms up. Eagle wrap the arms with the right arm on top of the left. Inhale, lift the elbows up. Exhale, touch the elbows to the knees and round the spine like a cat spine. Stand up with your eagle arms, lengthen your tail, find a back bend. Exhale, reach your eagle fingers towards the floor. Arms out to the side and up, reverse swan dive. Press your palms, look up. Fold and interlace the fingers behind the back. Right index finger on top. Bend the knees, inhale, look forward. Exhale, you're gonna slowly step that left foot to the back of the mat. Rise up, high lunge, straighten the front leg. Exhale, bend the front knee, hands to prayer, twist to the right. Do that again. Inhale, straighten, arms up. Lift up high on your back, tippy toe, exhale, twist. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, twist. Lift the heart to the thumbs, back leg is strong. Compact your outer hips in, lift the pelvic floor muscles. Lean the head and heart back. Three more breaths, inhale. Exhaling one. Inhale. Exhaling two. Last one. Exhaling three. Once again, straighten the front leg. Lift your arms up towards the ceiling. Then exhale, lower the back knee all the way to the floor. Pull your hips back, compact your hips in. Lift through the lower belly. Now keeping that stability, press your hips forward. Hook your thumbs above your head and squeeze your arms towards the ears. Reach up through the upper body and then exhale, melt yourself back. Move your right knee slightly towards the right, lifting up and melting back. Going a little deeper every time by reaching the heart forward and up. One more. Circle the arms back and down. Straighten both the legs and fold. Come into a flat back. Ground down the back heel. You're gonna take the left hand to the outside of the right foot. You can also use that block. If that's still too much, have the block on the inside of the foot. Right thumb into your right hip crease, pull the right outer hip back. 
and start to twist towards the right. Press down through the big toe mound and lift your kneecaps. Now finally reach the right arm up, revolve triangle. Leaning back, leaning back, left hip point lifts. Deep breaths in, out through the nose. Always trying to keep the breath constant and full. Couple more breaths. Let's grab the strap on the way. Maybe block out of the way. Parallel your feet to the side wall. See that your toes are the same distance from the side of the mat. Bend the knees and roll yourself up. You're going to take hold of the strap so that the hands are a little wider than shoulder distance. You're going to inhale if your arms up. Exhale the arms back and down. Now if the arms don't go back, you have to slide your hand out a little bit on the strap. You still want to feel the stretch though, lift up. And forward and down. If you don't feel the stretch, walk your hands closer. Lift up, lower ribs in. Back and down. Lift up. Forward and down. Now this time, once you get to a point where you feel the stretch across the chest, stay there. Move the head side to side to release the neck. Release the arms back and down. This time as the arms come up over the head, stay there. Draw the right arm alongside your ear. Bend the right elbow like you did before. Press it down, draw it in. Now if you need the strap, you can use it to find the full bind. Roll the left shoulder up and back. Press the lower ribs into the hands, lift up tall and take a side stretch up and over towards the right. Move the weight back into the right foot. Lift yourself all the way up, and then exhale, fold forward. If this is too much in the shoulders, then just release the strap, release the hands, release the arms. Make sure your feet are parallel to each other or turned in, definitely not turned out. If your hamstrings are open, sit bones together, tailbone down, lift through the lower belly. Some of you might just have your hands connected. And then gently release. So hop back on your mat so you have a bit more space. Have your hands right underneath your shoulders. Now I want you to move the weight forward into the hands. Lift up high on your tippy toes. Lift through the lower belly. Look forward and see if you can hover your toes off the floor. Keep trying to lift, lift, lift and then press the weight back. Do that again. Move the weight into the hands, lift up high on the tippy toes. Press into the fingers, press into the inner palms. Look forward. Try to lift the feet off the floor. And then press back. Reverse one dive up to standing, inhale. Warrior two to the front, exhale. Inhale, straighten the front leg, arms up. Exhale, warrior two, check the knee over your little toe. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten. And this time, lengthen forward into triangle pose. This time, you're going to be in the back of the hand to the inner calf, hovering the hand off the floor. So you're using the side stretch and um, the side body to lengthen and strengthen your core. Look up towards the ceiling, lift the kneecaps, lift up all five toes in the front foot. Deep breaths. Ground down through that outer back foot.
So maybe you might take it up a notch. Left arm along steady ear, right arm along steady ear. Inhale, stand. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Press the right knee to the right. Hands to the floor. Step back to down dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank pose. Look forward. Bend the elbows halfway this time. Upward dog. Pull forward and up. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Bring your inner feet to touch. Bend the knees. Look forward. Hop your feet forward. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Reverse one dive up to standing, breathe in. Hands to prayer at the heart, breathe out. Bend the knees, Ukatasana, chair pose. Weight to the heels. Exhale, eagle wrap the arms, left arm on top of the right. Lift the elbows up as you turn the thumbs towards the third eye. Exhale, round the spine and touch your elbows to your knees. Straight legs, lengthen your tail, lift the heart into a back bend. Exhale, reach the eagle fingers towards the floor. Reverse one dive up to standing, breathe in. Fold and interlace the fingers behind the back. Left index finger on top, fist overhead. Keep the fist, bend the knees, inhale, look forward. Exhale, slow as you can. Step that right foot to the back of the mat. Rise up to high lunge, straighten through the front leg, breathe in. Exhale, bend the front knee and twist over to the left. And again, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend the front knee and twist to the left. Inhale, straighten, arms up. Lift up, hang your back, tippy toe. Exhale and twist. Lift through the lower belly, outer hips hug in. Pelvic floor muscles lift. Press through the, the back heel. Three more breaths in. Breathe in out. One. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale in two. Last one. Leaning back. Exhale in three. Straighten the front leg. Arms reach up. Breathe in. Lower your back knee all the way to the floor, breathe out. Pull your hips back, hug your outer hips in, lengthen through the lower back and then press your hips forward. Try to lift the left hip point off the top of that left thigh. Hook your thumbs, lift up through the side body and melt back. Heart forward and up. Exhale, melt back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, left knee slightly to the left. Exhale. Bring your hands to the floor. Exhale, straighten both the legs and fold. Come into a flat back. Ground down your back heel slightly to the right. It's about fist distance between your inner heels. If you use the block on the other side, you can use it now. Take the left thumb into the left hip crease. Self-adjust and pull that hip back. You want to feel that the top of the inner thighs are kissing. Lift the left arm up. Lean the head and heart back. So you're always opening across the chest. Keep rolling the right lower ribs underneath you. So you go a little deeper every time. Back out to heel grounding. Three more breaths. Soften through the front knee, grab your strap, and face to the side wall. Bend the knees and roll up. This time we'll just take the strap straight up. Move the left arm alongside your left ear. Bend the elbow. And then maybe catching the full bind or using the strap. Try and walk your hands a little closer. Inhale, lengthen, lower ribs in. Side bend up and over to the right. Let 
Lift up through center, keeping the arm bind. Hinge forward. Again, if it's too much in your shoulders, just release the arms. And then gently release the strap. So you can either take yogi toe lock, bend the elbows out to the side and pull your head to the floor. Maybe you widen your feet a tiny bit. Some of you can take your hands back underneath your elbows, crown of the head to the floor. Either stay here or lift up onto your tippy toes. Maybe you come into tripod headstand. Reach up through the heels, hug the elbows in, pull the elbows back towards the shoulder so the shoulder blades lie on the back. And that will give more support to the neck. If you'd like to do a little bit more core strengthening, you can lift and lower the legs. Going slow or with a little bit more momentum. Again, if you ever want to try this and you're new to the practice, you might want to use the wall behind you. Now open your legs out to the side. Squeeze the legs in so the heels come down before the balls of the feet. Reverse one, dive up to standing, breathe in. Warrior two, to the front, breathe out. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Lift the left hip point and exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, straighten. And then this time lengthen forward into triangle. Gain back of the hand to the inner calf so that you can use that for leverage to twist. And also, it stops you leaning on anything, so you use your core to hold you in place. Lift the kneecaps, root the outer back heel, left sit bone wraps underneath you. Again, if it is too much though, you can definitely put your hand on a block. Taking it up a notch, right arm along steady ear, left arm along steady ear, Stand, warrior two, peaceful warrior, left knee to the left, hands to the floor, step back to down dog. Roll forward to plank pose, inhale, move forward, then bend the elbows halfway so the elbows stay over the wrist. Upward dog, pull through, ground your inner palms, and then press back to down dog. Take a few breaths here. Roll your inner shoulders up, outer shoulders down, lower ribs in, heels press back, and then allow the heart to melt through. Keep rolling the outer arms down. Bring your inner feet to touch, bend the knees, shoulder blades on the back, lower belly lifts, and hop forward. Inhale to a flat back, exhale fold. Bend the knees, Ukatasana chair pose, inhale. Exhale, eagle wrap the arms, right arm on top of the left. Inhale, lift the elbows up, sit lower. Exhale, round and touch the elbows to the knees. Stand up, find your back bend, inhale, tail long. Exhale, touch your eagle fingers towards the floor. Reverse one dive up to standing, breathe in. Fold and interlace the fingers, right index finger on top, fist over your head. Bend the knees, inhale, look forward. Exhale, slowly step your left foot right to the back of the mat, keeping your body parallel to the floor. This time, ground down the back heel. Rise up to warrior one. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Peaceful warrior, inhale. Hands to the floor, step back through plank to chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra. You can always skip this part out. 
down dog exhale inhale your left leg up to the ceiling step the left foot forward ground down the back heel to the right rise up wherever you one breathe in open up move your feet into position warrior two peaceful warrior lean back inhale hands to the floor step back plank chaturanga up dog or cobra down dog press back Bring your inner feet to touch, bend the knees, look forward, float forward. Inhale to a flat back, exhale, fold. This time, Bakasana Crow Pose. Get the knees up to the side of the arms. Lift up high in the tippy toes, lift your bottom high. Look forward, move the weight forward, and see if you can lift your feet. Some of you might be able to strain your arms, pull the heart through. Again, press into your fingertips to stabilize the wrist. Step the feet between your hands. Inhale, chair pose. Eagle wrap the arms, left arm on top of the right. Sit low, lift the elbows high. Exhale round, touch the elbows to the knees. Stand, lengthen the tail, find your back bend. Exhale, eagle fingers towards the floor. Reverse swan dive up to standing. Fold and interlace the fingers. Left index finger on top. Bend the knees, inhale, look forward. Step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat slowly. Ground down the back heel. Rise up, warrior one, breathe in. Open up to warrior two, breathe out. Peaceful warrior, inhale, hands to the floor, vinyasa, exhale. Upward dog if you went there, down dog pressing back. Inhale your right leg up to the ceiling, step the right foot forward, ground down the back heel, rise up warrior one, open up warrior two, Peaceful warrior, breathe in. Hands to the floor. Plank to chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Upward dog or cobra. Down dog. Just pedal out your legs. Give your head a little shake. Make sure there's no tension in your neck. Root down through the index finger knuckles. Bring your feet to touch. Bend the knees, look forward. <laughs> Float forward, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Last little bit, chair pose, arms up. Eagle wrap the arms, right arm on top of the left. Now this time I want you to eagle wrap the legs. Left leg on top of the right. Sit down a little lower and squeeze your outer hips in. Pull the left outer hip back, lift the elbows. And then see if you can round like you did earlier on, touching your elbows to your lower knee. Five breaths, inhale. Exhaling one. Four breaths, inhale. Exhaling two. Three. And out, four, and out, last one. Slowly unravel to standing split. Try to square your hips, left inner thigh lifts up, outer hip drops down. Lift through the lower belly, weight over the arch of the foot. Try and lift that top leg higher so you're using the hamstring. Just know that you can always play with handstand here or 
staying where you are. Step your feet together, inhale, and then exhale, fold. Give your knees a little wiggle. Bring your right knee behind your left heel. Sit down for seated spinal twist. Lift your left arm up. Exhale the arm behind you. Right arm lifts up. Elbow to the outer thigh. Lift up tall. And then twist to look over your left shoulder. Some of you might be able to thread your hand underneath that left leg. Maybe catch the bind. Lift up. Try to roll to the front of your sit bones. Press down evenly into your seat. So a little bit more weight into the left side of your bottom. Left shoulder rolls up and back. And then release and counter twist to the opposite side. Step into your left foot. And see without your hands pushing the right foot into the floor, you can stand up. Draw your right knee into your belly. You can keep holding onto the knee or hold onto the outer foot. Extend that right leg forward if you've got the foot. Now it's more important to get the lower leg straight, even if you have to bend the top knee. So push the floor away. Reach the right arm back behind you. Drop your right sit bone down and then lift through the heart and start to twist to the right. Get taller, finding a steady gaze. Left thigh bone back, right foot slightly to the right. And then come back into Ukatasana chair pose. You're going to exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale to a flat back. Jump or step back, chaturanga. Watch your shoulders, upward dog or cobra. Down dog, pressing back. Bring your feet to touch, bend the knees, look forward. Up forward. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, ukatasana, chair pose, arms up. You're going to eagle wrap the arms so that your left arm is on top of the right. Then eagle wrap the leg, this time with the right leg on top of the left. Pull the right outer hip back, sit low. Ooh, lift the elbows high and then round the spine and touch your elbows to your lowest knee. The highest point should be your middle back. Inhale, exhaling one. Inhaling, exhaling two, inhale, exhaling three, outer hips hug in, and four, last one, see if you can sit a little lower, and five. Unravel yourself slowly and come into standing split. Roll your right inner thigh up towards the ceiling so that your hips are square to the floor. Have the weight right over the arch, heel grounding. Either stay here or again. This is always an option. You can also do this at the wall. Shoulders over your wrists, gaze forward, lower belly lifts. Try to take a few hops. Squeezing that lower leg in. Keep looking forward. Top leg is straight. And then step your feet hip distance apart. Fold forward. Take your left knee to the outer right heel as you sit your bottom down. Ground down through the right sit bone, right arm lifts. Exhale the arm behind you. 
left arm lifts, elbow to the outer thigh. Roll to the front of the sit bones. You either stay in here or if you did on the other side, take the bind. Release and counter twist. Step into your right foot without using your hands. See if you can stand. Draw your left knee into your belly. Either holding onto the front of the knee or if your hamstrings are open, hold onto the outer flex, then the leg. Straighten through the lower leg. Left sit bone drops and then take that left arm behind you. Again, it's more important that the lower leg is straight. Just know it's always gonna to wanna to bend on you. Press your left foot to the left, lift through the heart. Ukatasana, chair pose, swan dive and fold, inhale flat back, step back to plank pose, take a breath in, lower knees, chest, chin, shoulder heads lift, glide forward, lengthen through the legs, lengthen your tail, shoulder heads lift, pull forward and up. Strong legs, so your knees are lifted just by engaging your legs. And then press back. Drop your head for a moment. Coming into the pose that we've been building up to, it's called Pincha Mar Mariasana, which is forearm stand. You're going to use your block, the thumbs are going to come into the back of the block and the index fingers to the side of the block. Bring the block to the floor so your palms are down. Now this is going to stop your arms going into the inward rotation, which tends to happen when you're doing forearm stand and that can damage the shoulders. So you want to keep the forearms parallel and the block helps to keep that outward spiral of the arms. Plug the shoulder blades on the back, lift through the lower belly. Tuck your toes. Now keep looking down at the floor. Lift your knees up. Now you can definitely stay here. If you're newer to yoga, I would just stay here, building the arm strength, taking a few breaths. If you need to rest, come back up. Some of you will lift up the right leg and try not to open the hip because that'll throw you off balance. Keep the hips square, the legs strong. Lift through the lower belly. Now either stay here, breathing for five breaths, and then you can rest in child's pose. Or hop your left foot a little closer. Keep looking forward. Press down into the elbows and the inner wrist. And see if you can hop. You might take a few little hops to find that. This is also great. But not big jumps. If you're newer to the practice, please have a wall behind you until you feel safe. Just resting in between. Let's take that on the other side. So shoulder blades on the back, lower belly lifts, tuck the toes, lift the knees, look forward, ground down your inner wrist, your inner hands. Walk your feet forward, either stay in here, taking about five breaths, or lifting the left leg. Inner thigh rolls up. Either stay in here for five breaths, trying to lift onto the tippy toe, or tiny little hops. Keep looking forward. Again, not big hops. Some of you might be able to find the balance. I like to keep this lower leg that I'm shaking down because it's a little easier to balance because it um, helps to engage the core. 
and then resting. Allow yourself to sit up. Some of you might use the block and bring it between your feet. Others of you pulling the calves back and out slightly, heels tightly in. You want your pinky toenails on the floor on both sides and the toes pointing straight back. Knees in line with the hip points, so don't let the knees go wide. And then coming into reverse prayer. So if you bring your arms out to the side, bring the fingers towards the armpits, lift the shoulders, lift the elbows. That's going to give room to the shoulders to open. Now slide the hands around the shoulder blades, keeping the hands high and find reverse prayer. Now, if your hands don't come together, you can also have your elbows, I mean, sorry, your fists together or hold onto your elbows. But keep spreading across the front of the clavicle bones, opening across the heart, the chest. If your palms are together, press the thumb knuckles together, the index finger knuckles together. And then the tendency will be for your lower ribs to splay, so pull them back. So again, the the abdomen's a little toned. Flick your toenails into the floor and that will help to release some of the stretch out of the feet so you feel a little more stable. Again, you can always hold these poses for longer if it feels good to you. Otherwise, reach your arms up, palms face each other to release that rotation. Come forward for a moment, tuck the toes, hands slightly forward of your shoulders for the measurement for down dog. Press back, have your feet a little wider in this down dog and that will release the psoas muscle. Inner shoulders roll up, outer shoulders roll down, lower ribs in and then heart melts. Never want to be here. That's, in, that's um, the shoulders opening a bit too much and that creates instability. So shoulders up, outer shoulders down, lower ribs in, press for the hip. Lower your knees to the floor. If the floor is too hard for your knees, always know you can put a blanket under your knees. Pad up any bones on the floor. So you're gonna take your hands behind your back, move your hips back, and then scrub your tail long. So it's not about pushing your hips forward because that will go into your lower back. So hips back, tail long, elbows in, heart reaches forward and up. Keep the chin in until you get more extension through the heart. Tail a little longer. Either stay here you can have your toes tucked or pointed. Reach your hands back simultaneously for the heels. Push down into the heels to reach your heart up. Lengthen your tail a little more. And then finally, if it feels good, lengthen the back of the neck to drop the head completely onto the shoulder blades. If you feel it in your lower back, come out of it so your hands are again supporting your lower back. Belly in. To come out of it, keep the head dropping back. Sit back and then let the head drop forward. Bring your legs around to the front. Slide the flesh back from your sit bones. Slide this around to the back. Arms reach up. Lengthen, again, bend the knees if your hamstrings are tight so you don't round in your lower back. And then lengthen and fold. Paschimottanasana.
Fill yourself all the way up. You're going to come to lie down onto your backs. Now, if you've got two blocks handy, it's really nice to put a couple of blocks under each of the thighs there to give a little bit of support. Take one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your heart center. Try to soften through the inner thighs. Allowing the shoulders to relax, the arms to soften after all that, all that work you've been doing. See if you can inhale for the count of four. Exhale slowly for the count of eight. So you sip in the air in and out. Inhale for four. Exhale slowly for eight. Try to empty the breath at the bottom. So then you make more space for the inhalation for clean, fresh oxygen. Okay, you can stay here for as long as you like. You can be here for about five minutes. Otherwise, extend your legs long and come into your Shavasana. Shoulder blades underneath you. Release your legs, release your arms. Soften your belly. Scan your body from, for any hidden tension and then try to breathe directly into those points. See if you can release further. Forehead relaxed. Coming back into the room, wiggle your fingers and toes. Draw your knees towards your armpits and pull your knees directly down. Some of you might take this into happy baby. Arms on the inside, hands on the outside of the feet. Lengthen your tail down so your lower back is long. You can rock. Rolling over onto one side. Come to sit in a comfortable seated position. Sit 
control. Open across the heart. So always checking in with yourself at the end of class. Notice if there's any change from the beginning to the end. Maybe you feel a little calmer. Your body feels a little more relaxed. your hands together in front of your heart. Take a deep breath in. Thank you for practicing with Be More Yogic. Please come back soon. Have a wonderful day.